What's up, Taurus, Kings, Queens, and everything in between? I am Austria Avanbada Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. All right then. We have separation here. Um, this is your past, present, and future mutual energy here that um, from you and your person. Also, I want to say that you may hear a fan. I'm sorry, y'all, but it's fucking hot as shit, and I can't. All right, so uh, separation. It says time apart. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, and this is in the reverse here. For some of you guys, you possibly were in um, separation with like a karmic or someone that uh, I'm, I'm hearing someone that you needed to cut off in the past. For others, it's more so of a sense of a separation ended in the past or someone came to a realization that they wanted to end the separation in the past for a lot of you. We have uh, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life here. And this is in your present moment. So definitely give you that energy that, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. But that will give you that energy that shit, you know, right now you're just playing a waiting game for you and your partner to kind of come together. But you are being guided to keep those manifestations going. Also, um, be clear with what you want and you need to go after it fully here. And I'm also getting the sense for some of you guys, you're dealing with um, two or more, two or more people. All right. We have engagement in the reverse here. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment here. And this is in the reverse. So for a lot of you guys, it's possible that you could um, be ending a relationship with someone. Um, possibly the person from the past here. Um, you guys were in a higher level commitment. Some of you guys could have been engaged. Also, again, the instance where you're coming back into... Um, coming back together with someone that you were previously engaged with here. All right. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And that is the overall energy there. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it here. All right, we have true love here and divinely guided. Mm. All right, so it says, I waited my whole life to find someone like you. And then we have divinely guided. This relationship is being divinely guided and protected. Okay, y'all, so. Okay, and this is the situation currently. So that, it get like, spirit is on one today with y'all. All right, so this is basically saying that you know, you're coming into being with true love if you don't already know this person, but the relationship is protected. So just take the steps that you're guided to take here. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and see. All right, we have empty stage here and not finished. All right, so empty stage, it says, I feel empty without you. You're the spotlight of my heart. Oh, look how that's just shining, y'all. Do y'all see that shit? Shit is just shining bright. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, huh, I'm, I'm hearing um, with passion, like someone's watching you, and like they're looking at you like passionately missing you. Okay. We have not finished. There's still unfinished business. It's not over till I say it's over. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, you guys, I like I'm getting uh and this could be possibly because of the sore, but I'm definitely getting Libra, Libra Aquarius Gemini energy here. And I'm also getting the sense that somebody could be like, um, forcing you to be in a waiting period here and it could be one of the people that I saw. I'm also getting it could be um, definitely a karmic situation that's not wanting you to like someone not wanting you to leave them or something like that. 
also like empty promises or like mm, okay all right we have skeptic skepticism give me time to trust this connection here And we have escapism. I'm constantly distracting myself to relieve the pain of my reality. Hmm. Definitely some addictions here, possibly drinking. Um, I'm hearing pills. Um, <laughs> I'm no judgment, but I'm hearing hard drugs. Okay. Um, For some of you, and I, I really don't normally get this, but for some of you, I'm getting, um, like, cutting for some reason here. Definitely, you know, talk to someone if that's if that's your energy here. We have ending at the bottom here. I know endings are painful, but it's best that we move on for now. And that's definitely giving me that Scorpio energy, you know, that that sense of rebirth and starting over here okay Seven of Wands here with the Lovers here and the um, Hanged One. All right, so right off the back, it's like you're defending yourself or being guarded towards a Gemini here. And you've accepted um, kind of who this person is here. And you're deciding, you know, that you're making the decision best for you moving forward. Yeah, the magician on the bottom, Gemini, Aries, energy here, two of swords here. You're definitely changing. It's definitely a decision of like, um, you're, you're making the decision and you have clarity on a situation here of how a relationship has changed or, you know, um, I'm hearing transform, possibly not having hope in it anymore, feeling um, a sense of uh, like some sense of chaos here. Challenge your spirit. All right, nine of wands here, eight of pentacles here, and the ten of swords. Ten of swords is Gemini's energy, so a lot of you guys could be um, legit dealing with the Ge Gemini here. With the nine of wands, is definitely giving me that energy, and this is Pisces energy. This hangs on the nine of wands, the eight of pentacles, and the ten of swords. It's basically like now you are um, you, you feel like you got, you're you're trying to get over um, the heartbreak that you had in the past. You're working on progressing from it, um, and definitely in the sense of some of you guys, like I said, you could be in separation here because you know this is the time frame that I see, but you could be anywhere in this time frame. I mean time um, time. What would you say time frame? I think it's time frame you could be anywhere in this time frame here yeah it's like you release the thought of a st stable relationship with someone capricorn energy here um something that you felt like uh you had to have or it had to be a certain type of way because you felt like the situation was toxic and unproductive yeah and it's like now you're in a place of um you're kind of exhausted from from putting so much effort into something. It's almost in the sense of you're feeling very disconnected from the situation. And you just want to start over. It's definitely a sense of wanting closure here. All right, Page of Swords here. Three of Swords in the reverse here. And the Four of Wands. Yeah, so... Um, definitely not getting a lot of your energy here so this could be your person's energy towards but it's definitely a sense of someone's watching you or vice versa um, it's like watching someone heal and get over something here 
um, get over a sense of disappointment here. Definitely a sense of heartache. Um, someone may be wanting to come towards you and offer you an apology about how they treated the relationship here. Yeah, Ten of Wands, Ten of Pen I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands here. It's like waiting for um it's like waiting for your family to get back together or waiting for um someone to see you in a different light type of energy here. Because it just really seems like something isn't moving forward. Someone's confused about something here on how to progress to this here. Or it's a, it's almost a sense of like um to get back on good terms with someone. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. How to get back on good terms with someone here. Alright. Alright, why is the lovers here, spirit? Mm. Yeah, see. Definitely a sense. Ten of Cups. You know, Ten of Cups here with the Nine of Swords and the King of Swords. Definitely in the sense of cutting off something that once um, you thought was going to be very um, beneficial. Um, definitely possibly, again, that high-level commitment here. Thinking that, you know, something was going to change. Someone was going to be a certain type of way here. It's definitely a sense of being very guarded towards something or someone and also putting your space, um, putting your, how can I say that? It's like mentally checking out of the situation and like really cutting yourself off here. Yeah, with the star card and the nine of pentacles. Um, with the um, ace of cups in the reverse here, feeling like something just isn't working out and you're better off on your own while you're healing yourself here. What is Taurus working on here with the eight of pentacles spirit? What is Taurus working on here? Judgment card, the Empress card, and the Page of Swords here. With the Two of Swords and the Three of Wands. Yeah, you're waiting, you're waiting for clarity here. Um, you're definitely waiting for someone to tell you something or to be open about something here. That's why you're really guarded towards the situation. But again, with this judgment card here, it's definitely in a sense of wanting something to come out. But you're also wanting something to, um, for some of you, you're wanting something to, like, start up again. To be able to nurture something here with the Empress card, which is your energy as well as Libra's and the Page of Swords here. It's like, again, you're watching something. You're watching something to see how something turns out. Or you're watching someone to see what they have to say. You're listening. You could be um, watching someone online here. What's the Three of Swords in the reverse here? Because now we have the page twice here. Page of Swords twice here, y'all. But someone definitely watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Alright. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep, yep. Like I said, some of you guys are going to be in a place of resurrecting here, resurrecting a relationship here, or just finding new love here, making that decision with that Gemini card. Some of you guys could be getting back together with the Gemini, or some of you guys could just be making a decision to go after new love here after a situation with the Gemini went sour. Also getting, you know, with the Ace of so Ace of Swords here and the Tower card, Aries Energy, and the Two of Cups. It's like you you understand that someone um, 
that there wasn't a good foundation in a, a certain relationship in the past and now you're in a place where you're wanting to have true love here like you're clear that the past didn't bring you a certain level of um success in relationships and you're wanting true love moving forward all right Secrets or someone was coming out, so possibly some, someone was cheating here at the party. Like I said, I saw two or more people, um, lust and desire and chemistry here, as well as you are on your single shit, um, period. Okay, look, okay, let's go ahead and get a little bit more here. definitely dealing with Gemini. Definitely let me know in the comments if you are dealing with a Gemini because I am no BS. Okay. Alright. So we have the lovers here and this is that single energy. Um, we also have the wealthy man. Also could be the wealthy woman here. And that could be someone that someone had a love affair with or something like that. But you're it looks like you're being gifted some passion coming in, baby. Um, and this is someone that's going to be intimate with you. They're going to fill your, your heart space here with the family room here. But it looks like right now, either you, yeah, it's like right now you're pretty much focused on your money here, surviving the daily hustle right here. You're pretty much focused on your money and not really focused on a relationship or love as much. All right, let's go ahead and get, okay, what was that? Oh, spirits. That is one too many cards, baby. All right, and wedding rings, I keep seeing that when I did the pre-shuffle for your cards, so maybe some of you guys are actually going to be going towards a higher level of commitment in the near future here. Okay, so we have the golden mirror. It's a self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So that might be why you're single from that Gemini because they were a narcissist and they were on some petty ass shit. We have health, um, health choices, healthy choices here, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier here. Maybe you chose yourself and this is you and you decided that you needed to have you a little love affair or something like this or you stepped away from you you finally left this relationship um because of this all right the spirit is telling me to take it so i am but definitely too many cards we have grim reaper here it says the relationship is over no second chances to transform your life then we have heart with the key it says welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. And then we also have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Well, we knew that, but yeah, that's that's that there. And we're going to go ahead and get some of the signs that you could. Oh, some of the signs you could possibly be dealing with. That was a freebie here. Because Pluto just wanted to shoot the freak out. And it's 22. Definitely putting me in the mind of those um, spirit numbers. So, um, not those spirit numbers. Uh, the twin flame numbers, 11. So, definitely keep that in mind. All right. So, we have the sun. We have Pisces. Sun is Leo. And we have the moon. Cancer um, energy there. And then we have Mercury, Virgo, Gemini, baby. We already knew that though, okay? So, um definitely like share comment and subscribe i appreciate all the love and support that you guys give i send it back to you guys tenfold and i will see you guys in the next one bye